friends today i am discuss about the cryogenic engine which is the latest in space technology cryogenic engine use liquid hydrogen and oxygen at very low temperature liquid oxygen is at minus 180 degrees celsius and liquid hydrogen at minus 253 degrees celsius due to which the high mass flow rate is gained due to the liquefied nature of the fuel which is very good in comparison to conventional fuel that is maintained at a room temperature and have very low mass flow rate due to which we can't able to get a better thrust to maintain a high velocity and high thrust exhaust velocity to increase our payload due to this liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen we can able to get a better thrust velocity that is the 4.4 km per second now let's see the construction of the cryogenic engine the first one is the combustion chamber and second is the most important the pyrotechnic initiator which use a gunpowder and sparkle type of very explosive components which can initiate the combustion of the liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen in a combustion chamber due to which we can get a better thrust now the third one is the cryogenic pump or turbo pump which is used to maintain a better mass flow of the fuel in a combustion chamber due to which we can get a better burn ratio and have a better exhaust velocity and have a better mass flow which can increase our thrust velocity now let's see the advantages of cryogenic engine it is cheaper in rate because the liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen are cheaply available in our environment high payload because it can have a high thrust velocity due to which it can able to carry a very heavy satellites and send it into the orbit of the earth as we know the cryogenic engine is very efficient the cryogenic engine is very efficient due to only their fuel the fuel of the cryogenic engine that is the liquid hydrogen and oxygen are very efficiently work efficiently work together to maintain a better performance in comparison to conventional fuel that is maintained at room temperature that is very very low efficient in comparison to cryogenic engine now let's see the countries which successfully test the cry their cryogenic engine that is the nasa of america and the second number is the, the isro of india and the countries which are under testing their cryogenic engine that is the russia and japan